One week ago, our nation collectively watched in horror as a violent mob stormed the Capitol grounds, broke down crowd control barriers, assaulted Capitol police officers, and overran the Capitol complex. Lives were lost. The storming of the Capitol was an intolerable, shocking, and tragic episode in our nation's history. I'm grateful, however, that order was restored at the Capitol the same day and the Congress was able to fulfill its duties under the U.S. Constitution. That afternoon, from the Justice Department, more than 500 law enforcement officers and agents from the FBI, ATF, and the U.S. Marshals rushed to the Capitol. As I watched the events unfolding, I spoke multiple times with DOJ personnel who were on site and coordinated with my counterparts across the government. I also heard from leaders of both the House and Senate. In addition, our agents worked with the Capitol Police and the Metropolitan Police, as well as the other federal, state, and local officers who responded on that day, to do several things. First, to neutralize improvised explosive devices, or IEDs. Second, to clear the mob from the Capitol. Third, to search every office for explosives and other dangers. And fourth, to return the chambers to Congress so they could discharge their duties. When Congress then completed its job of certifying the electors, our job at the Justice Department to hold the intruders accountable under the law was just getting started. Some charges were brought the very next day. Those efforts remain active and will continue until justice is done. In the last week, more than 70 individuals have been criminally charged. We've opened more than 170 investigations. The FBI has gathered more than 100,000 digital tips from the public, and there is a lot more to come. The wrongdoers will be held responsible. As we look ahead, we are also aware of other planned protests in and around the upcoming inauguration. The Department of Justice fully supports and will protect the exercise of constitutional rights. But I want to send a clear message to anyone contemplating violence, threats of violence, or other criminal conduct. We will have no tolerance whatsoever for any attempts to disrupt the peaceful transfer of power on January 20th that our Constitution calls for. We will have no tolerance for any attempts to forcefully occupy government buildings. There will be no excuse for violence, vandalism, or any other form of lawlessness. To the American public, I ask that if you are aware of any criminal activity or violent acts being planned, please share what you know with law enforcement or the FBI. Along with our other federal partners and local authorities, we will spare no resources in protecting public safety in the coming days. And everyone should understand one key thing. The Department of Justice will seek to hold any violators accountable to the fullest extent of the law. Any wrongdoers will be caught and they will be accountable.